Hello everyone, and welcome to the Center of Math Christmas Special. Santa may be coming to town very soon, but his trip around the globe would not be possible if it weren't for the help of his elves. Now we don't know much, many things about the elves other than what Hollywood makes up about them every year. And not many reporters are too keen on trekking up to the North Pole because, as you may have heard, it's a little bit cold. But I believe that if we apply just a little bit of math and a little bit of our imagination, we might be able to find some interesting things out about these magical creatures. So we're going to start, and our first question will be, how many elves are up in Santa's village? Well, it's actually not too hard to figure out if we think about it. Doing a little bit of research, found that about 176 million toys are sold for the holidays every year. And uh, with a little bit of elf research, I estimate that the average elves would put out about 1,000 toys a week. So there we go, 1,000 toys a week. Now, elves work 50 weeks out of the year, like most people. Two weeks for vacation, probably someplace warm. So, 50 weeks out of the year. And uh, just cross out, canceling, year, year, toys, toys. Oh, yeah, elves. Elves per week. And that leaves us with 3,520 elves. Not as many as I was expecting, but a lot more than Hollywood shows you with about 30 in a workshop. So we'll accept that answer. All right, so now we know there are a lot of elves in Santa's village, and our elf, elf here has a lot of friends. But no one really does work for free as joy, joy, joyful and cheerful as these guys are. So really, we got to find out how much is Santa paying them. Well, we know that every dollar so of toys sold during the holiday season has to go towards paying the elves. That's common knowledge. So, with an estimated $8.8 .8 billion of toys sold each year, and we said there are 3,000 520 elves that need to split all this money every year. And as we said with the work weeks, they work 40 hours a week, not including any Christmas overtime, but we'll just assume 40 hours a week, 40 hours per week, 50 weeks of the year, a little canceling. And we get that the elves must be making $1,250 an hour. I'd take that any day of the week, so sign me up. But, so $1,250 an hour comes out to about $2.5 million a year salary. That is a lot of money. But, in my experience, and from what I've seen throughout the movies, Elves are a pretty nice, happy, generous people. And rumor is they give about 90% of that money to charity, leaving them with each about $250,000 a year salary. That's still a nice chunk of change, and they don't have too many material expenses. So now I'm wondering, elves love sweets. If they pooled all their money, how many Christmas cookies could they buy? Let's find out. So $250,000 thousand dollars per elf then we have 3,520 elves and uh, let's say a pack of cookies cost ten dollars pack cookies about ten dollars and uh, 25 cookies a pack seems fair Right, pack 
Cookies, cross, cancel, elves, elves. That comes out to about 2.2 billion Christmas cookies. Safe to say, that's a lot of cookies. Should last them at least a year. I don't know. So, there you have all the nice little gingerbread man cookies, my personal favorite. Don't know about you, and I can't speak for the elves. But we'll assume that's what they're buying. So there we have it. We have learned a lot about elves, not just fictionally, but through math and somewhat cold hard facts. <laughs> so. so I hope you enjoyed our little adventure. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button. And uh, for more math resources, visit our website at centermath.org. And uh, from all your merry math friends here at the Center of Math, Merry Christmas.